People often ask, how do I get my website into the Google index? Or how do I get a web page into the Google index? Or what is the Google index? In this video, I'm going to explain how to check if your website or web page is in the Google index and then how to submit it if it's not. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with just the most basic of all questions. What do we mean by the Google index? So what we're talking about is if someone goes to Google and they put in, you know, Geico, right, for instance, and you can see here in the organic results that geico.com is kind of a known entity by Google. So that it's in the index is what we're talking about. Another way to think about it is like think of all the books ever published, right? Versus the books that are in the Tulsa Public Library, right? So you have a universe of every book ever published, and then you have a smaller subset of the books in the public library. So Google is like the library and then the universe is the internet itself. And Google is not the same as the, in, as the internet. You need to be in the Google quote library to even have a chance of ranking at the top of Google. So that's the idea. Now, the second question is, are you in the index? And here people get a little confused. Are, is your website in the index or is an individual web page? And you want to use the site operator to figure this out. So I have a clickable link for you in the materials and you can click on that link and you'll see here that it's site colon with no space and then your domain jm-seo.org in my case. Or you could take site colon geico.com and that's going to tell you that there's about 4600 web pages inside of geico.com that are in the index or about 749 web pages within the jm-seo.org domain so this is like the whole like everything that's in there now you can drill in a couple little interesting things on these three dots you can also see the cache. This isn't always visible, but that's interesting because that will tell you like when did it last pull your data. So it last pulled my data on March 10th, 2021. So that caching is kind of an interesting feature. Now, that's like the generic, but you also want to find out if a specific URL has been indexed. So for instance, this URL right? Is it in the index? So on any web page, right, let's go back to my main website and let's not look at the home page at first. Let's just look at a, a specific page. So let's take this page here. So that's your URL. Copy that URL and then go site colon and paste that URL and hit enter. And if you see this like this, it's in the index and often you can also click and see the caching of it and you can see when it was pulled. This was pulled March 10th, so two days ago. So you want to be able to do that on an individual web page. You do it with site colon, no space, and the entire uh, link. Now you can see that other one is not in the index even though it's on the website. So this one, you get a kind of a, a null result, meaning Google doesn't know it exists but it actually is a web page. It got missed for some reason, okay? So that's that's kind of that. Now, what we wanna do next is we wanna, we, we kinda of understand like these two issues. Is the whole website in the index? Look at caching, all this kind of jazz, because obviously you can't rank if you're not in the index. That's the first step. Now, how do you get in the index? How do you get Google to know about a web page? There's a couple ways you can do it. So the the, the most straightforward way is to go to Search Console, and I have the link for you. So this is Google's Search Console, and I'm going to go into uh, my website here. Okay, so I have more than one website, obviously. So you go in there, and then you take the page that you want in the index, so you copy that page. Then see where it says Inspect Any URL? You're going to paste that. You're going to hit enter. You're going to have to wait a little bit here. And then 
this kind of claiming that it is there. And then you might it might say we don't know about it. In this case, maybe it's a little bit confused. And see how you can see you can click request indexing over here. So click request indexing. Wait for a few minutes, depending on how fast it is. And then once you're done with that, it's going to say indexing requested. And so that's been submitted. Now, while we're here, another way you can do this is through your XML sitemap. And you want to see when it was pulled. So this site, the sitemap's not working right, but you could submit a sitemap. I'm not a huge fan of XML sitemaps. I think they're kind of extra, but that's another thing to check. Now, a second way to do it is to link to it from your home page. Now, within WordPress, you can run a plugin like I do, and it's going to pull my most recent blog post. It's going to pull the most uh, recent three blog posts. And this is another way to get things indexed. So for instance, that one that I posted on March 9th, it's, in, it's linked to from the home page. I never submitted it to the Google index. And you can see if you go to Google, that it's there. So that's one really easy way to do it is just rotate those through your home page that will often help you. And then you can also create external links. So for instance, on Twitter, I can go and I can tweet. And I can say, you know, I've posted my schedule for my social media marketing class via Stanford. Right now, maybe a human being will read this, maybe they won't, but by tweeting that, I'm giving um, Google a nudge to check it out. So that's a third way uh, to do this. So let's wrap up. First, you have to understand what is indexing. Think of the difference between a library and all the books in the universe. And Google, in a sense, is a library. It's a really big library, but it is just a library. It's not the same as the internet. And you can't rank on Google if you're not kind of in its library. That's what the index says. Second, you want to figure out, are you in the index? You can check your whole site. And more importantly, you can check a specific page to see if Google knows about it. And then third, you have techniques and tactics to get indexed by Google, starting with Search Console, linking from your home page, sharing the link on Twitter, and then you can go back and check and see if you've succeeded in getting into the index. Now, getting into index doesn't mean that you rank on Google. This is just the first step towards success at SEO. So thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and off you go.